farm hands, Farm Boy Reef here. So on today's episode of Coral Friday, I picked up a beautiful specimen to show you guys. Um, the specimen I got today is the Candyman Chalice. This Candyman Chalice, um, it's really pink in color. It looks like a piece of candy and it's got little yellow eyes on it. Um, when I saw this, I was really excited to show you. Um, so with this specimen, it likes uh, like, a, a, like a low flow, low light area. And it likes to be placed uh, horizontally on rock glass. Um, on this one here, I have a special spot. I want to put it in the middle of my tank on the side of a cliff, mount it horizontally. And with chalices, they can really adapt to different lights. But the best to do is always start your chalice in a lighter area, like low light. So this way it can choose if it wants to take off into the brighter light or it wants to stay underneath in the low light. So you can give it a, you can give it a choice, uh, but they adapt really quickly um, for the chalices. Um, you want to make sure you keep your water pristine. Usually they're pretty easy to care for. Just keep your water pristine. Um, keep all your elements, your magnesium, your calcium, your strontium. If you keep all those into check, you shouldn't have a problem with this coral at all. Um, with these corals, um, it's good to spot feed them now and then, maybe once a week. Uh, I like to feed my chalices uh, reef roids. Uh, it's a great product. Um, reef roids is made out of uh, Montreal, Quebec, out of Canada. Um, it's a great product. that it, It's good for filter feeders. Um, it's very smart, small particles, so they can really get into the polyps. So it's a great way if you want to keep them colored up and keep them fed. So yeah, that's a few pointers. So I end up, I'm going to mount it right here in the middle of my tank on the cliff. So it's got a little low light and it's got moderate flow, so it should really uh, spread out. And what I might do is I might actually frag a piece of off, piece of it off and mount it on the back of my glass in a certain area. So they're they're known to encrust onto glass as well. So what I'm going to use today is I'm going to use uh, the glue. Uh, two little fishies glue and glue it to the piece maybe to the back of my tank and I'm going to mount it and glue it to the, the bottom of the rock here on the rock cliff. It's got lots of uh, area that it can take off and encrust over that rock and look like a really nice piece. So first off what we have to do is we're going to take our specimen here. It's been acclimating for about an hour and a half now. Make sure to add a little bit of your tank water. Make sure to keep your salinity the same and keep the temperature the same so we don't shock that coral. And remember to oh, remember you always want to uh, dip your corals. Um, I'm going to use a ME coral dip on, on this coral like I usually do and make sure we don't get no pests, no flatworms, pyramid snails, aptasia, anything that can get in your tank, eradicate it and have a hard time uh, you know, getting rid of. So what we have to do now is take our specimen down to my lab. We're going to coral dip it and get in there for about 15 minutes, uh, clean it all up. And we're going to bring it back up here to the display tank. We're going to get it mounted on the, the cliff side here. We'll talk a little bit about it. We'll get the Radeon Reef Link open. We'll start turning those blues down and see what this candy, uh, Candyman uh, chalice turns out to be. So let's head down to the lab, guys. All right, farm hands. so I made it down to my lab. So I got my famous white bucket here. We need one gallon of water. So the coral dip we use is uh, the ME uh, coral dip wash off. So what you're gonna use, you're gonna need four capfuls of these. They're five milliliters each, so 20 milliliters all together, and one gallon of water. So let's mix up uh, the coral dip. So we're gonna need four capfuls of these, and they're five milliliters each. So let's count these out. So one, two, three, four. All right, so we got our four capfuls of uh, the ME Coral Wash Off Dip. It's great stuff, been having a lot of great success with it. So all I have to do is just uh, mix this up right now. Just agitate the water, get it ready. So we got our dip, it's all made up. So we're good to go there. So I'm just gonna show you guys. So here's the, the Candyman chalice I got for you. It's about half the size of my hand. Let's show you guys, if I can bring you up close here. As you guys can see, it's really pink, pink color. It looks like a piece of candy and it's got little like, yellow polyps on it. So let's get it into the dip. We're gonna leave it in there for 15 minutes. See if we get any uh, pests come off. And then we're gonna make sure we wash it off three times with some aquarium water or sump water and then we'll place it in our tank. So let's get the coral in here and we'll see if we have anything come off. All right, so the Candyman Chalice, it's been in there about 15 minutes now. I'll bring you guys up close to personal to see if we have any pests coming off. Um, today, it's looking really clean. Doesn't look like there's many pests on this at all. So um, I ended up getting this coral from uh, Aqua Valley in uh, Ottawa. He's got a lot of great chalices there, a lot of high-end corals. And this is where I got the piece today. So you guys should check them out. I'll leave all the information at the end. If you guys want to purchase some corals online or stop it in a store, definitely a great place to look. So I'm going to bring you guys up close personal and check this out. All right, so there's the Candyman Chalice. It's looking really clean. Um, I got this piece from uh, Aqua Valley in Ottawa. He's got a lot of great high-end uh, chalices there. 
So yeah, if you look here, it's looking really clean. If you look from my other corals using the ME uh, coral wash off, it's uh, usually get a lot of worms, but today it's a really cl clean piece. And there's just a few mice and shrimp around there. You guys can see them buzzing around. So one there, so you guys can see, so underneath the radions, this is gonna be like a really pink purple like candy. And then all those little polyps right there, they're all yellow. So I can't wait to get this under the radions to check it out. All right, so the coral's been there 15 minutes. It's a pretty clean piece. So all we have to do now, clean up this coral. Um, use some of your sump water, we get it all cleaned up. We're gonna take her up to the 220 uh, display tank. I'm gonna get it mounted, and then we're gonna put it under the blues, start turning it down on the reef link, and see if we can get this coral to pop. So, so hopefully we can see everything. All right, so I got the, the Candyman chalice all mounted up, middle of the tank, lower area. Um, I ended up using the glue tonight, uh, the Corafix glue by uh, Julian Sprung, it's great stuff. I ended up uh, just put a little bit on the back and stuck it right to the rock. It's sticking really well. So I'm going to bring you guys up close and personal. Let's check out this uh, Candyman uh, chalice to see if we can get the colors to pop. I got my iPad open over here. Got the reef link all ready to go. So let's go check it out. All right, so there's the Candyman chalice. So I got my reef link open. So now you guys can see how it's like got that really pink color to it and it's got the little yellow uh, polyps on it. So let's go in. Let's, let's start turning it down now. Let's take our reds down. Let's take our greens down and they're cool whites. So now you guys can see how it's popping right now with the yellow. Very nice piece. So that's the candy man. So let's let's uh let's go to some presets here. Let's see if we can get this this getter to pop. Yeah, that's a very nice, uh, it's a very nice piece. So in this area, I got it mounted, it mounted uh, horizontal. So now it can take off. As you can see, it's in a shaded area, but there's there's light. So this way, it can choose if it wants to go into the dark area or it wants to go into the light because it adapts really well to light. So, so that's the Candyman Chalice for this week, guys. All right, so that's the Candyman uh, chalice specimen I got for you this week, Joy. So I hope you guys have a great week. I um, hope you guys tune in next Friday. You never know what coral I'm going to have. So if you guys could please subscribe, hit the like button, and we'll move on to the next video. Have a great time, guys. Bye.